Alright guys, it's Justin again with another review. Um, this time it's going to be the Master Grade uh, Jesta. Um, this guy has kind of been in limbo for a little while. I've been uh, putting him off and slacking and procrastinating and doing all the stuff that I normally do with kits. Um, just There's been so much going on. There's been so many other kits come out. Um, and so many like paint projects from, that I've been working on that... I really haven't had as much time as I would have liked to dedicate to this guy, but as you can see, he is before you. He is standing tall. He is standing strong. Um, and I'm sorry that I didn't get a chance to finish the Let's Build. Um, I got to the legs, and um, the footage got messed up, and then I had already done some other stuff, and I I lost that. So I just decided to wing or to skip the rest of it. Um, and instead of putting that up, or what little I had of that up, uh, i just go ahead and shoot the review, and um, if you guys were interested in more Let's Builds, um, I'll put those up in the future and maybe fast forward them so they're not so long and crazy and maybe put some music over them or something. Uh, but, um, enough babbling. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this guy and see what he's all about. Um, the only thing about this uh, review... It, it would be you know different otherwise from uh, I guess if you were to build it um, I you can see I don't have my chest vents in and that's because I plan on painting this guy and I didn't want them in for you know because it'd be a pain to get them out so um, we're going to start this off with as you know with every other um, you know review we're going to do articulation so I'm going to pop this guy off right here um, and we'll just do the mobile suit and then we'll get into the accessories and the other stuff later. Um, so, as you can see this guy, he's pretty, he stands pretty average. Let me, uh, well, I'll, I'll do that later. Um, you know, he, he stands pretty tall. He's a very solid kit. He's got a really good weight to him and, uh, he can, he can stand really well. Um, you can kind of get him in any kind of pose you want. I was really excited when this guy got announced and when he finally came out. Um, cause there was, there was little to no information about him at all up until his release. Um, it was like the last couple weeks, you know, they finally started pushing, uh, actual prototype images and stuff like that of him. Um, but I remember for the longest time, all we had to go off of was like a 3D CAD drawing of him. And, uh, you know, a lot of people were skeptical about, you know, how the kit was going to turn out. But, um, I think it's been a fantastic build. It was a lot of fun to build. Um, you know, so... Um, with articulation, you're going to get a full 360 degree on the head. You're going to get a really nice back, uh, backward, um, bend, not so much forward, a little bit of side to side, um, and I don't think this is on a double joint, this is just a single joint. Um, the neck is popping up a little bit, and I'll go into that later. Um, on your arms, you're going to have a joint on the inside of the shoulder so you're gonna get a lot of bend out of that he can actually reach all the way across uh, and touch his other shoulder um, really nice to see that um, full 360 under the shoulder um, you're gonna be able to go up all the way um, a little more than a little more than 90 not a whole bunch the shoulder pad is separate um, you're gonna get a 90 degree well just about 90 degree if you move the shoulder pad out of the way you get a, about a full 90 um, out of that and at the wrist you're gonna get the full 360 you know as you would it's a ball joint and this little hinge here lets you get some extra movement um, you've got the full pose fingers uh, as with the uh, the new Gundam Verka and the Sinanju Stein these uh, were rumored to be the new master grade hands but uh, I don't I don't think that's gonna be the case as you can see with the new Ale Strike remaster and uh, some other kits, they seem to kind of do whatever they want to do with those. But it's nice to see that a, a little grunt like this guy got uh, the special treatment and got the, the special hands. Um, I'm a huge fan of this guy. He's just a really cool looking suit. Uh, the cockpit hatch does open. Let me see if I can if I can do this. These always seem to be my weak point here is the, is the cockpit. Um, ugh. It opens in two spots. You have to like pull it out. Mm. No, maybe. There we go. Alright. So, you 
pop this. Maybe I'm doing it backwards. I'm really bad at this. There we go. You pop the bottom one down, you pop this one up, and you can see the little pilot sitting inside there. Um, and then just to get it closed back up, you do the same thing in reverse. Um, the waist has pretty good articulation. Uh, you get a, a, nice, a, a neat back bend. A um, little bit of side to side. And not a whole bunch of rotation. The, the side skirts and the front skirts going to get in the way. But you get a lot of movement out of there. Your skirts will move up. Um, out, up and about. They're on uh, ball joints and pegs. Um, side skirts, same way. And the back skirts are independent. Um, they are on ball joints as well, as you can see. Um, and before I move down too far, um, the backpack has a little bit of articulation. The thrusters can move in and out. That's a really neat uh, kind of gimmick thing. These move forward just a little bit, not too much. And your legs. Um, you get a full uh, forward. You get a full 90 out. And, uh, you know, not quite a 90 back, but um, a pretty good... Just about 90. Um, so you can really get this guy in some in some crazy poses. And you can even, without the side skirts falling off, you can almost get him to do a full split. Um, I haven't done a whole bunch of crazy posing with the guy, but um, you know, if if you're gonna put a, a Jesta or any kid in a full split, you're probably not doing something uh, action actiony anyway. So um, you're probably just messing around. Um, you're going to get a regular 90 degree bend on the knee, but there's a little gimmick in here where you can pop the knee out like that. You can see the little slide mechanism, and you will get a little bit more out of it. And if you hold it forward, you're not going to get a 90, but you're going to get a really nice bend out of that. And it doesn't look bad either. It shows a lot of detail here. And um, there's like a little piston and stuff in there, and you can really kind of bring him up like he's kneeling and stuff like that. So... It's a really cool gimmick. I think there's one like that in the arm as well, but don't quote me on that. Um, so you pop that back in there. Um, ankles uh, were really interesting to construct because there's a ball joint up here like you would normally see on Master Grades, but then there's also a hinge inside the foot, so you've got a lot of foot movement, and then your heel also moves. So there's a lot of really like weird, interesting articulation in here. Um, and your, your ankle guard is also independent. Um, that's just kind of on pegs, so that's uh, that's articulation on this guy. Um, as for gimmicks, um, he's obviously got the full inner frame. Uh, you've got the the standard kind of like the opening cockpit hatch. You've got the uh, the slide thing for the uh, for the legs. Uh, an interesting bend for the elbows, um, and the, one of the biggest things that they announced or when, when they you know developed the kit. Um, you can get the Bandai LEDs, which I, I have one, I just, I wasn't able to get to the store and buy batteries last night like I had planned, so, um, I haven't bought batteries yet, but you can pop the red LED in here, and it will light the, uh, the entire head up, so all the cameras will light up with, uh, a nice orange, red-orange color, and, um, you know, this guy is just a, a really cool grunt, um, I think as far as, like, non-lead grunts and non- you know, Gundam suits. This is definitely one of the cooler um, grunt suits. Um, even if not by performance, just by look. This guy has a, a very, really cool and unique look to him. He, he's a very uh, interesting design. He looks very, uh, you know, low-key. He's like a spec ops looking guy. And, you know, it's, it's just really neat to see something like that kind of translated into mobile suits because most of the time you you'll think if you think giant walking robot you think uh you know something more akin to like the heavy arms where it's it's guns 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 rockets missiles you know all that stuff and uh this guy is just he's quite the opposite so um as far as accessories he's going to come with two um you're going to get well technically i guess three uh you're going to get a um, machine gun or assault rifle if you will um, and this has a detachable uh, ammo clip um, you've got a little point of articulation here this kind of spins and and does whatever you want it to do um, it's got a really cool like a reflex scope on it so or a red dot sight I guess 
So you, I mean, it's actually a clear piece of plastic in there, so that's really cool that that's there. It's got like a silencer on the front, um, and it has this little peg for the arm, which I'll get to in a second. And it comes with the uh, the shield, and the arm has a bunch of little articulation points. You can kind of anchor this out and and hook it around, and you can do some really crazy poses with this guy. So. Um, I'm really glad that they didn't go the, the high grade route, which, I mean, the high grade, the way that they did it worked well for the high grade, but um, I think if if that was how they went with the master grade, a lot of people would have been really disappointed. Um, and they they did a lot of stuff with color on this. The This little emblem here isn't a sticker. This is actually a yellow piece. Um, these aren't stickers. They're, they're actually white pieces, and then there's blue pieces, and then there's the darker blue, and there's actually two shades of blue here and then one shade here so there's three shades of blue on this one piece alone and uh... that's really nice to see because um, you don't really see that kind of stuff on kits even today um, it's kind of rare to see like three shades of blue on on a high grade or a master grade or anything like that so uh... the fact that bandai went ahead and did that and then there's even the gray on the back they didn't go with the white or the blue um, like you would get if you went and got like an RX-78 or anything like, or, uh, you know, any, any lead Gundam typically, you get just a white piece, and then you'll slap a red piece on the front, and, and that's it. Um, this has actually got the gray backing, and then three blues, and then some white, even, so, lots of color here. Uh, really cool to see that. And the way this plugs in, um, it looks like it would kind of snap in, but it doesn't. It just kind of, you know, plugs in there. And it's not the most solid connection, but it definitely holds pretty well, you know. I can shake it, and he's, he's still there. So, um, let's go ahead and pop the, uh, you know, you pop this peg out on the hand. Um, let's see if I can get that. My fingernails want to cooperate. There we go. You pop the peg out on the arm. You go ahead and pull his thumb down. Um, and you just plug each peg into the appropriate thing. So one peg is going to go into the gun, one peg is going to go into the arm, and they form an amazing connection here. Um, and it's just, it's super tight. You don't even have to grip the fingers around the the, uh, the gun, but who's going to do that? Um, everybody wants to, you know, everybody wants, your, everybody wants the mobile suit to look like it's shooting the gun, otherwise what's the point, really? Um, Let's go ahead and get that in there. Wrap his hand around it. There we go. And then fix his thumb, which actually was already fixed, so that's good. And there we go. So now we've got a, a fully armed Jesta. And he's you can really kind of get some nice mean poses out of this guy just just standing. I think that's one of my favorite parts about this kit so far is that um, this guy looks really intimidating just standing. Um, you don't really have to do too much. You know, just kind of space his fingers out a little bit and kind of make him look emotive a little bit. And, you know, just standing, he has a certain presence about him where, um, you know, you can tell that, you know, he means business. And it, it really doesn't take much to pose him. You just kind of, you know, stick him over here like this and wrap his hand around this guy and you know space his legs out a little bit and he's shooting you know it's he's super easy to pose he's really easy to work with um, and it's just a it's just a really nice kit overall um, and the coolest part about it was like while I was building him he just every piece just kinda seemed really familiar I guess there wasn't anything particularly challenging about it the legs were a real pleasure to build um, with the new gimmick and and the inner frame was really nicely detailed and there was lots of stuff going on um, but once you get everything together the kit feels really solid he's got a really good weight to him and um, I haven't had many issues you know posing him and stuff like that his his waist has a tendency to, to kinda lean back and forth a little bit um, and that could just be the way that I'm posing him but um you know, he's he's just a really cool kit, and I really highly recommend this guy. If anybody's into grunt suits or anybody just wants something that's just a fun build, this guy is definitely, um, you know, top five on my list, especially for, re like, newer releases. Um, he was an absolute joy to build, and um, I really like the hands. I really like the, the sculpt. Um, there's tons and tons of detail um, on the frame of this guy, so if you're a fan of 
of painting nonsense that nobody's going to see like I am. Um, you know, there's tons of that here. There's tons of really cool, like, panel lines. There's lots of detail sculpted in to everything in, on this kit. And this is a really good translation um, t from, like, the high grade to the master grade, where everybody bought the, the high grade Jesta. Like, it was really hard to find for a long time, and I think still is. Um, but to see what they did to bring it to master grade, it, I think they really did it justice. And, um, yeah, so I think you guys should definitely check this one out if you haven't already or if you, you know, if he wasn't already on your, your wish list or your radar, you know, per se, um, definitely check this guy out. He's worth the buy. Um, so I guess with that, I'm going to wrap up and, uh, he will be painted. So sometime in the near future, I'll be doing like work in progress videos for this guy. Um, I've got to finish up the ale strike and I've got to do, uh, I've got something else I really want to build. Um, after that, so you guys will see some some stuff with that. But uh, but with that, I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys for watching.